All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to How to Connect Your AvaPass Cameras. Today, we are going to jump right in. So the first thing you want to do if you are a Mac user is download the instructions from avapass.com. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you how to do it. You can read it if you want. What you do is you open up your system preferences and go to your network, which is right here. Then you're going to want to open up your lock so it'll let you do some changes. Go to your ethernet and hit advanced. You're going to want to enter these credentials. Under the TCP tab you want to hit manually and under IPv4 you want to hit 192.168.5.160. Under subnet mask you want to hit 255.255.255.0. Under router, you want to hit 192.168.5.1. And under IPv6, hit automatically. Select OK. And then apply these changes. Congratulations, you just changed your Ethernet IP address to that. Then, you're going to want to go to your controller. That's this guy right here. And let's see if I can get him. zoomed in a little bit. This is your controller and you're going to want to set up its own IP address as well. So you're going to go to setup, you're going to go to IP static which is the second page, hit enter. Under the IP you're going to hit 192.168.5 and I chose 100 for my last three digits just to keep it clean. You hit enter. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. You hit enter. The gateway is 192.168.5 and 1. Um, once you hit enter it's gonna set successfully and reboot. Now we can move on to setting up each camera IP address. So what you're going to do is um, in your browser you're going to enter this IP address which is the standard IP address for the 1280 camera. If you have another camera simply look under the notes and find the IP address. So for instance if you had a 2020 you'd enter that. If you have a 1280 like I do you'd enter this. So you just copy that enter it into your search bar like I did here, and you get brought to this page. I think it's worth mentioning that in order to have this page brought up, you have to have a Ethernet cable connected to the back of your camera to your computer. Very important because if you don't, I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. I know the cameras... Um, they they have the AC power and some are powered over Ethernet, but I'm just telling you that's how it worked for me. So um, remember to do this one at a time. Don't plug in all five cameras at once or however many cameras you got. Only one at a time. So only one camera should have power when you're changing its IP address. Now, moving forward, to change the IP address, you want to enter admin admin for that is the username and password and it's going to bring you to this page you want to hit configure and then hit ethernet and what it'll look like for you is this the last three digits will be 163 but you want to change that to either 101 or 102 103 depending on your camera so for me um i kept everything very synchronized and what i mean by that is my first camera with being this camera over here is 101 because when I refer to it on Twitch or YouTube I'll say okay let's go to camera one well I know that it's camera one but I also know that its IP address is 101 so it helps me remember anyhow once you're done with that um, it's very important to also remember to restart your camera and to do that 
you simply take the AC cord that was with it. It should be plugged in like this. Just take out the cord and then put it back in and that's going to reset the camera. So once you reset the camera, you should be able to go back online and type in its new IP address. So for instance, if our first camera is camera number one and it has an IP address of 192.168.5.101, then by golly, that's what we're going to paste in here. So we do it. It brings us up to this page. We log in. And would you look at that? It's our camera and it's where it's camera one and it's right there. So congratulations, we just changed its IP address. Okay, what do you do from this point? Turn off that camera, unplug it. Now you go to your second camera and you do the same thing. You plug it in, you make sure there's an ethernet cord from that camera to the computer and you do the same thing. You enter the camera's default IP address, which is 192.168.5.163. That will bring you to this page, you log in, you go to configure, you hit and you change it to instead of 163, you change it to 102. Same thing, hit save, log out, take the AC adapter, take it out, reset the, com uh, the camera, and then you're ready to unplug that camera completely and move on to the next one. So you just do this for however many cameras you have is how many times you have to do it. I had to do it five times. It really wasn't that bad. Great, we're done with this. We're moving on. Now we're going to the Ava Pass. And that is this controller. So my goal is when I take this controller, I want to be able to do what I'm doing now. I want to be able to change things. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is make sure that this joystick is connected to the port switch. So for this demonstration, I need to kind of draw it out for you. It's a little bit easier for you to see. So you have something called a port switch. That's PS right there. You also have something called a router, that's the R. You also have something called a computer, that's your CPU. Or uh, CPU, what am I talking about? That's your CP, I don't know. CP, we'll call it for now. Then you also have something called your joystick, which is this controller. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff already, but hey, there's more. Camera one, for me, I have five, so that's... I'll draw five of these. Camera five. Okay, so how does all this get connected? It's pretty simple. The port switch is your main hub. That's where everything gets connected. So camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, camera five. But it's very important to realize also that I think that might need to zoom out a little bit. There we go. It's very important to realize also that you have to connect your router to your port switch as well. Not only do you have to connect your router to the port switch, you have to connect your joystick to the port switch. So, um, and then I guess if you really want to get technical, the last thing you would have to do is connect your CP as well to your router. Um, your router comes with RJ45s, which are ethernet cables and there should be plenty of ports all right what am i saying about all this um you can't do this step where you control your cameras unless this step has been done so make sure you got everything ethernet connected and then you're ready to roll here we go so now you have your controller it's looking great you're ready to connect a camera here's how you do it Hit the IP button and enter the camera's IP address. So we changed our first camera from 163 to 101. So we'll enter the whole thing. 192.168.5. And for this demonstration, we're going to enter the 101. So you have 101. Enter. It's going to ask you for a port number. That is found here. 
2000. So we do that here, 2000. Press enter. User, we've already explained that the username is admin. The password is admin. Press enter. And then cam number. This is super important because this is what your little fast, quick access thing is. If you want to select, you know, camera one, camera two, that's what these are right here, camera one, camera two. So because our we entered the IP address of 101, it has to be our first camera. So we're gonna go back to this and press camera one. Once you press enter, it's gonna connect to it. And sure enough, if we press camera one, we can look right here. It, it's telling you that camera one, see camera two, camera one has a IP address of 101. So you go back to camera one, sure enough, you're moving it, good job. You just simply repeat these steps for camera two, camera three, camera four, camera five, and congratulations, you've just connected all your cameras to the joystick. Um, hope this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, just ask a question or leave a comment. And welcome to the tribe, hashtag Dawn Patrol. Um, can't wait to see if this works for you guys. I hope it does. See ya.